Hello everyone, welcome to Biotech Notebook. This is the platform where you can learn all biotechnology concepts. In this video, we are going to calculate colony forming units that is CFU per ml of the given microbial sample. Okay, so the problem is a dilution of a microbial culture was prepared. Okay, by adding 1 ml of the culture to 9 ml of sterile blank. Okay, that is you are going to add 1 ml of your stock culture. Okay, you are going to add 1 ml of the stock culture with 9 ml of sterile blank. Okay, so your another one test tube has 9 ml of sterile blank. Further, 200 microliter from the diluted culture was spread on agar plate. Okay, next you are going to take 200 microliter from this diluted culture. You are going to add and spread on the agar plate okay and 150 colonies were observed after the incubation period okay so after spreading your diluted culture onto this agar plate you are keeping it for some incubation period so after the incubation period they have observed 150 colonies on the agar plate so now we have to calculate the cfu per ml that is colony forming unit per ml of the original sample okay so the options are 7500, 75000, then 750 and 75. Okay. So the formula to calculate colony forming unit is CFU per ml is equal to number of colonies into total dilution factor divided by volume of culture plated in ml. Okay. So in the problem they have given number of colonies is equal to 150. Okay. Then we have to calculate total dilution factor. So for that first you have to calculate the dilution factor from the dilution. In this problem we have made only one dilution okay so from the stock culture we have taken one ml and we have add it into the another test tube which has nine ml of sterile blank so the dilution factor is equal to total volume divided by volume of sample transferred so the total volume is nothing but so the volume of ml you transfer from this stock culture that is your one ml and your sterile blank that is 9 ml so 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 ml so total volume of your diluted culture is 10 ml then volume of sample transfer so here you have transfer only 1 ml with the 9 ml sterile blank so volume of transfer is 1 so your dilution factor is equal to 10 divided by 1 10 total dilution factor so here we have made only one dilution okay so here total dilution factor is same as that of your dilution factor df1 okay so if you made a second dilution then you have to multiply df1 into df2 then you will get the total dilution factor but in this problem we have made only one dilution so total dilution factor is same as that of dilution factor that is equal to 10 okay then volume of culture plated okay so volume of culture plated is the amount of sample you have taken to spread on the agar plate so here we are adding 200 microliter okay we are spreading 200 microliter on the agar plate and we are keeping it for the incubation to observe the number of colonies formed on the agar plate so here volume of the culture plated is 200 ml but it should be in ml so 200 microliter is equal to 200 into 10 power minus 3 ml so cfu per ml is equal to number of colonies here number of colonies is 150 so 150 into total dilution factor that is 10 divided by volume of culture plated that is 200 into 10 power minus 3 so you can cancel it out these two zeros then you will get 15 divided by 2 is equal to 7.5 and 10 power minus 3 if it goes into numerator you will get 10 power 3 so 7.5 into 10 power 3 that is equal to 7500 so option 1 is your correct answer 